Hello, this is Steve with Accelerated Technology Services here in Sarasota, Florida. This is the first part of a multi-part series that we're doing. We're going to be talking about basic computer maintenance and tips and tricks you can do at home to keep your computer running as smoothly and as quickly as possible. Now, one of the most common things that we hear about in the shop are people that tell us, you know, their computers are just not running like they used to over time. It just seems like things have gotten gunked up. It's running slower. Applications are taking longer to load. And, uh, you know, it just isn't a pleasant experience dealing with a computer anymore. So, one of the most common causes of sluggish computers and also one of the easiest to fix is an overly fragmented hard drive. In the video, we're going to briefly talk about what a hard drive is, how it works, why fragmentation happens. We're going to move into how we can go about defragmenting our hard drive, and then we can move into using a tool called the Windows Scheduler to regularly defrag uh, our disk and basically that's going to allow us to have make sure that our uh, disk is defragmented but not we don't have to constantly remember to go ahead and do that. Move on to the next slide here. Uh, this is a internal picture of a hard drive. Uh, it's probably the one that you have running in your computer right now and basically the way that it works is these magnetic platters here these round things. They spin around a spindle really fast while the magnetic arm, which is right here, uh, basically it hovers over the disk and it reads and writes data to the disk. Now the important thing about that is that it means that physically on the platters here is a location where data is stored and we would usually think that data would be stored in such a way to allow that arm to quickly write and retrieve the data from the disk but a lot of times that's not actually what happens. Uh, sometimes as things are written to the disk and removed from the disk and moved around, it starts to get jumbled and that's what we call fragmentation. It's basically, you know, a single file can be scattered all over that disk. So now that we know that, we know that, you know, that's obviously going to make it tougher to retrieve, especially large files and things like that can generally slow down the computer. How do we go about correcting it? So a tool uh, included within Windows XP that allows us to go ahead and rearrange all that data so that we basically allow that magnetic arm to swing more freely and get that data as quickly as possible. I exit out of my little thing here. So the tool, we get to it that by going to Start, Programs, Accessories, System Tools, and disk defragmenter. Click on that. And as you see, we open up the uh, window here. We've got a couple areas that are going to be of interest to us. First, the tool shows us here all the hard drives that we have located on the machine. On this machine, I only have one drive, which is the C drive. If you have multiple drives here or on your computer, you'll see them here. Uh, and uh, just below that here, we've got the analysis area. And as we uh, analyze the machine, which I'll go ahead and do that right now, it's not going to be too interesting because this is a fresh install of Windows XP. But as we analyze the machine, uh, we're going to start to see some colors come up and some information come up. And then we're going to pop up with this disk defragmenter uh, little notice here. It's going to tell us, uh, you know, a recommendation of, well, you don't need to defragment this volume. And as you can see, there's almost nothing going on here. Uh, also here, we'll be able to view a report. And uh, as you can see, this is sort of the area that's going to be of most interest to us. It will tell us the volume fragmentation as a percentage. And it's telling me that here that we have 7% with a file for fragmentation of 14. And that's really, you know, that's just fine. Uh, you're going to have some fragmentation. And even after you defragment, you're still going to have a little bit of fragmentation. So that's just okay. Now, because this is a fresh install and there's not really much fragmentation, I've gone ahead and I've got a screen cap here of what it looks like when, you know, uh, uh, computer that does need to be defragmented is is analyzed by the tool and as you could see uh, it popped up after this analysis was done that says yeah you should definitely go ahead and defragment this volume you see there's a lot more going on here there's a the white represents free space there's a lot less free space perhaps a, th a few things could be deleted from this computer to go ahead and give more free space that'll give more stability to, go to the computer and it'll actually help out with uh, preventing fragmentation in the first place so also here we see a couple colors. Uh, blue represents contiguous files or, or basically files that the computer is saying, 
yeah, the hard drive is going to be able to easy, easily get these files out, no problem. And the important thing that we want to get rid of here are these red areas. And those are non-contiguous files, or files that have sort of been scattered around the drive, and it would be better and help with computer performance in order to take all that stuff and put it back together again. And we would go ahead and do that. I'll close this out here. Go ahead and do that by pushing this defragment button. And when we do that, and it warn you, it doesn't. It does take a while. It can take a while. Uh, it will basically your computer will start to uh, analyze the best way to place those files on the drive so that your computer will run, will run as fast as possible. Now this really is something it's a maintenance item and it should be done pretty regularly but it's not something that you know most people uh, if they know about it they think oh well I'll only do it you know maybe once every couple months but it really should be run about every week. So we use a tool here uh, called Windows Scheduler and that will allow the defrag tool to be run on a schedule based upon really how often we would like to do it. So uh, it's obviously it's very nice for us. It'll keep things defragmented and we won't have to really think about it too much anymore. So we get to the Windows scheduler by going to Start, Control Panel, Performance and Maintenance down here in the bottom left hand corner, down here to Scheduled Task, and we'll pop it up here. As you can see, I've got one already listed there, and I'm going to take that off just to make another one. So if we double-click this Add Scheduled Task thing here, we'll pop up the Scheduled Task Wizard. Click on Next. And interestingly enough, defragmenting is not in one of these default applications here, so we're actually going to have to go find it. And that's going to be located within the Windows directory and System32, and that's going to be where the defrag tool is located. Scroll over here through the Ds, and you'll see defrag.exe. So again, we're in C Drive, Windows, System32, and there's defrag.exe. We'll go ahead and open that up. Uh, usually, it's good. this is the part where we can actually start to schedule it now. Uh, Weekly is a good amount of time that this needs to be done, so we'll go ahead and click that and click on next. Um, pick a time, I'll say 1 o'clock a.m., because I'm not usually up then, so I don't need to worry about it popping up when I'm using the computer. And we'll go ahead and do that on Monday mornings at 1 a.m. Looks fine to me. Click on next. Now, this is going to need to be done by within the administrator in administrator user. So here I've got my administrator user listed, my admin password. Go ahead and put that in here. Click on next. And so now it's scheduled it, but we do have a couple more things that we have to do. Just go ahead and click on that to open the advanced properties once we're done here. Click on finish. It's going to pop up the advanced stuff here. Now we do have to tell the defrag tool here where we want to defrag. So on here I just have one drive. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the C drive because that's the drive that I'd like to have regularly fragmented, defragmented that is. And then we can go ahead and click on OK. It's going to pop up one more window here where we can put in our password one more time. Click on OK. And there we go. And now, as you can see right here, uh, we are scheduled to defrag at a 1 a.m. on every Monday of every week. And that's going to start. Uh, that'll be next Monday here. So that's it. You're now set up with a regularly uh, scheduled defragmentation of your hard drive. And uh, you can go ahead and see more of our tips by subscribing to our videos. Or you can head on down to our website. That's www.exceltechservices.com. And thanks for watching.